Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. Hope you guys are having a good holiday season and a good break if you guys are off for a few days like I am. Um, I know I only filmed one video for Christmas Eve. Technically, it's still Christmas Eve. I'm filming this 11 51 p.m. on Christmas Eve. Um, but obviously by the time this is up and filmed, this will be Christmas Day. So again, I hope you guys are having a great holiday. I wanted to get more videos up on Christmas Eve, but Christmas Eve is busy for me, so I can't really get many videos up. Um, I do want to show you guys a shirt. I a sweater that I got myself last year, or I think I got it from my sister got it for me. It's still really windy out there. Um, I want to show you guys a little cat thing that I have here. I'm not going to have the lights on the whole time for you guys. Oh, one sec. Can be a bit sen uh, sensitive. I would keep keep these on for you, but I don't want in case you guys are like eye sensitive or in case anything, because again they they flicker a lot. If it was like steady like these lights, then I would leave them on. But just because like they're like they're really flashy and it can be really distracting, so I'm just gonna have this on until I start the video. And plus I can see the the reflection in my laptop screen is a bit distracting. But yes, guys, happy holidays. Um, we're gonna be watching a Darman video for you guys today. This is hopefully one of many videos for today. I want to get a few good videos up for you guys today, whether or not they are Christmas related. I just want to drop a bunch of Christmas videos for you guys, which I will try to do for sure. Um, we are going to be having a dart video. I, I, I know I downloaded it somewhere. Where'd it go? It's going to be that spoiled girl. Here it is. Spoiled girl forced to work on farm. What happens is shocking. This is a long video as well. Almost 30 minutes. It's 26 minutes, 40 seconds. I am tired today, guys. I, I have had a long day. We're going to start this, and I'm going to turn this off just so you guys don't get distracted by this, or me. And we still got lights behind us, but yeah, hope you guys are having a great holiday season. This isn't really a Christmas video, it seems like, but I will do more Christmas videos later today. I, I, I also will be dropping the feature film video today, well, tomorrow, Te technically speaking, tomorrow, because that's when it comes out, and tomorrow is obviously Christmas Day, so let's go, guys. What the fuck? What? Slow down! Are you trying to get us- Oh my god, it's her and her together. Oh my god. At least the girl in the back, she's usually sometimes nice, but this girl and this girl together? Oh my god. Phil? Okay, you sound like my dad. I drop like this all the time. Why don't you turn the music off? Do, do you not get pulled over? Oh my gosh, that might be Amy. Better get my bag. Amy? Who's Amy? Are you sure you should be texting while you're driving, Jess? Relax. Okay? Both of you just have to chill out. No, honestly, I would not. No. I would literally... Well, you can't really attack her. <clears throat> you can't really attack her because that'll make her crush anyways. But honestly, if a friend is acting like this, please do not hesitate to like try your best to get out of the car. Try your best to have her stop. Call the police on your friend. I don't even care what it is. If they're talking on the phone while driving, if they're doing this shit, if they're like, swerving in lines like intentionally, like, what do you do? Are you trying to get us killed? What are you doing? Like, literally, you don't... Like, you don't... Like, you don't... You shouldn't encourage that, you shouldn't be okay with that. If that happens, you best get the fuck out of that car. I don't know how, I don't care how, get the fuck out of that car. Because it is not safe. You are gonna die. Like, the friends are. Like, you're not even. At the very least, you're supposed to do this. Like, every millisecond, you have to look up. Or do this, you know what I mean? So you can also see the road. Like, you know, like, like so you guys are the road. My per my peripheral visions, I can still see the sides. I, I can still see right here, and I'm still messaging. This bitch, th uh, this dumb bitch. Like they, they're about to die right here, right here. They're, they're about to die right here. Careful! Oh my Idiot! Gosh, I'm so sorry. Let me. Why are you saying sorry? That's her own dumb fault. That's literally her fault. What are you saying sorry for? I'd be like, the hot what you get, you dumb bitch. Get up! No, don't worry about it. It's from last season. My mom told me that she was going to get me the new Chanel and your Dustin Boy bag anyway for my birthday. Bro, you um, guys almost died and you're all so calm now. You guys almost died. Oh my gosh, Amy locked in her ski passes for this weekend! <laughs> yeah, guess what? That's not going to matter if you're dead. Is it so cool if we stay at the ski chalet in Aspen? Yeah, of course. It's ours when we want it, but when we don't take it, my parents put up an Airbnb. It's the perfect setup. A vacation house that pays for itself. <laughs> I'll let Amy know that we're in. Look at the road. Rock, look out. Ah! 
Dumbass. Rick. Like the fact that she's just sitting like, <laughs> like still texting her, like, bro, look what you just did. You dumbass. Sweetheart, are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine, Mom. And Maddie and Jess are fine too. It's really not that big of a deal. It was just a little fender bender. It doesn't look so little to me. Well, it's not my fault that people don't know how to drive these days. I was literally minding my own business, and then the guy in front of me just slammed on his brakes for no reason. Oh it was my a red gosh. light. What in the world was he thinking? A red light? Speaking, Mr. Adams. Mrs. Adams. So, I do have some good news and some bad news. Well, why don't you give me the good news first, because I don't think I can take any more bad today. Well, either, either way, you're going to get it. It's all fixable. It. No frame damage. Should be all done within a week or so. Bad news is your insurance is going to go up because she did slam into somebody who was waiting in a red light. Oh, you what? There it is. Oh, and this mom has been her mom like in other videos too. Or she's been the mom of spoiled kids before and she does not play. She does not play. Like this guy might play, but he doesn't know. Like he's playing either. Ooh. You lied to us? Were you on your phone again texting and not paying attention? Again? No. No, I really wasn't. I swear. This is an estimate for the repairs. Oh, this is ridiculous. How much is it? Our insurance is going to... Bitch, oh, you're going to pay for it. You are going to pay for it. That's why she's forced to work on farm. Shoot through the roof. You I'm sorry, I've paid some... I'd pay up front, if you'd like. I'll be in my office. Give you guys a minute to discuss it amongst yourselves. Oh, my God. Dumbass. You know, Dumbass. I don't even get why you're so mad. This isn't even the car that I wanted for my Sweet 16. Because it's a lot of money. How exactly do you expect us to pay for this? I don't know. Um, a credit card? Money doesn't grow on trees, bro. Well, technically. No, that is enough. I did not build a real estate empire so that my daughter could spend a fortune on clothes and cars. Until you can learn the value of money... You are not going to ask me with your friends. Oh. And you can forget about that new Chanel bag. Oh. What? No, that's, no, that's not fair. Mom, yes, you know fair. how bad I want that bag. And Dad, we've had that trip planned for weeks. Don't care. What, what do you guys expect me to do? Just stay home while everyone else has fun without me? Work. No, of course not. No, you are going to come to Uncle John's farm with us this weekend. The farm? The farm. No, that place is absolutely repulsive. I hate it there. No. That is a great idea. Besides, it'll give you a chance to catch up with your cousin Jenna. I like that both parents are on the same page because, again, in other dark videos, one, oh, one parent's more lenient, and then the other's like not taking her shit, but the other parent's always lenient, but they're both, they're, they're both stern with her, which is great. We haven't seen her in ages. Okay, well, there's literally nothing to do there. It's in the middle of nowhere. I'd rather just stay home. You don't have a choice. Ugh. <clears throat> Fucking stupid. I hate this bitch. Don't worry about all that fancy stuff. Because where we're going, you won't need any. Oh. Dumbass. All she had to do was not text and drive. Just stop. At a red light, I go on my phone. Because, like, you're at a red light. But even so, it's not good either. That's still legal. Because then they're not focusing on the road. Like, what if someone... I don't know. Like, obviously, don't start driving... I've kind of done that too, but only on like side streets. You know what? Here we are. It, it's really tempting, it is, but don't do it. Please don't do it. You said it was. You're right. It's way worse. Come on, bro. Please don't say that. This farm has been around. Honestly, I don't like farm life either, but yeah. Family for three generations. It's part of the Adams family legacy. This is one weekend of your entire life. It's not going to kill you. Can we just stay in a hotel or something? I mean, I'm sure there's a St. Regis around here. Oh, St. Regis out here. Well, there's a Best Western a couple cities down, but it's sold out. We checked. Turns out it's becoming quite the popular trend for city folk to come out and experience the farm life. Why would anyone want to come out here? I'm just saying the sooner we get back to civilization, the better. Well, if it isn't my favorite city, Slickers. <laughs> It is so good to see you. Oh, I'm looking for service. Oh, wow. Yeah, she got no bars. I'm not getting any signal out here. Ah, uh, yeah. Service is patchy out in our neck of the woods. You can use a home phone if you need to make a call. A landline? Seriously? <laughs> no. What's the Wi Fi password? Unfortunately, no Wi Fi either. We got dial up. 
Dyla? What the heck is Dyla? Brooke, don't be so rude. Maybe your cousin Jenna? Hey, Brooke. Gosh, it's so good to see you again. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to bring the animals in. You want to come say hi to them and help me? Uh, no. I'm going to be inside, but thank you so much. Ooh. I hope she's going to be okay. Give her some time. I reckon she'll love it out here. She may not even want to leave. Ugh, it smells like cows in here, and it's disgusting. Ugh. I highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You know, like, no service, no Wi-Fi, I would honestly go insane as well. I'm not going to cop. She fell asleep with magazines. What time is it? 4.35? What the? Ah, that, that is too early. Be quiet! It's not going to help. cock a doodle -doo. <laughs> All you had to do was not crash a car, you dumb bitch. Wow, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> What's for breakfast? Everybody already ate? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Hope it was that rooster. <sighs> Where's John and Jenna? They're out working. They get it really start around here. There's a lot of work to do on the farm. I don't get why they don't just hire people to do it for them. I mean, clearly they could use it. This place looks like it can blow away in a gust of wind. Hey, someone's awake. I would have been up sooner if it weren't for all that crowing at some ungodly hour. <laughs> yeah, that's our rooster, Pedro. He didn't bother you, did he? No. No. I love being woken up before it's laid out. Oh my gosh, I'm starving. Who do I talk to to make me some eggs? Oh, Brooke. Uncle John and Cousin Jenna don't have a chef like we do. I can make you some before I head back out to finish. Don't you? Oh my gosh, you're a lifesaver. I like them sunny side up with just a dash of lemon pepper. Thank you. She's like, yep, coming right up. <laughs> She's like, all right. Oh, still no service. How does anyone live out here? You can survive for one weekend. I'll be back home tomorrow night. Can't come soon enough. Will you say? That's the only way, that's the only part where I agree, I agree with her. Because again, no cap. Like I cannot survive without Wi-Fi or data or service. Like I would literally lose my mind. Even a day, I'd be like, oh my god, my friends are messaging me, and I know they are, but I can't message them back. Like, it's just, it, it makes me feel so disconnected from everybody not having that. You know what I mean? Like, even if we lose power, I I got dad, like, 30 gigs. I'm good, you know what I mean? But, like, mm-mm. -hmm. I know your way around the kitchen, Jen. <laughs> well, after what happened, I picked up most of the cooking. I got pretty good at it, if I may say so myself. Well, maybe you could teach Brooke a thing or two. You know, your mom would have been so proud of you. I oh, she's on that. Hey, Brooke. As soon as you finish eating, it would be really nice if you returned the favor. Help Jenna out with some of her work. Fox. I can't. I'm booked all day. You're doing what? What? I am. I have to do my nails today, and then I'm trying that new face mask. Oh and I have God. to make my playlist for the drive home. You know, actually, I think I'm going to get started on that now. So, Jenna, when you're done with those eggs, can you bring them to my room? And remember, sunny side up with just a pinch of lemon pepper, okay? Brooke, Jenna is not your servant. I never said she is. Jenna, you wouldn't mind, right? Um, great. <laughs> and please don't overcook the eggs. I like them just a little bit runny. Thanks. She's very spoiled. Like, she was being nice in a sense, but really like, bit, like spoiled and notice the default. Hey, sweetheart, after you're done, you might help me out back. I'm sorry, I, I gotta read, read with that set of guys. That's certain something, that's trusty page. It's it's not clear enough, I, can, I can't read that. Hey, sweetheart, after you're done, you might help me out back. Tractor's active again. 
course not, Dad. You're such a sweetheart, Dad. You're always so helpful. Yeah. I wish some of that would rub off on Brooke. I regret spoiling her so much. Leave her here a while. There's plenty of extra space. I'm sure she'd learn a thing or two. There's nothing more humbling than cleaning horse manure. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, that really isn't a bad idea. She's like, I don't want that, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure. Oh yeah, she's already packing her shit. And here's I'm the parents. Just packing, and then I'll be ready. Um. Yeah, but you're not going nowhere. That's what your dad and I came to speak to you about. We've been discussing this, and we think that it would be best if you stayed here through the end of winter break. <laughs> good one. We're serious. It'd be good for you to experience life on the farm. Plus, your uncle John. He's been looking for a couple of extra helping hands around here. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no service, no Wi-Fi, and no mall. It's basically a prison. Again, I agree with no Wi-Fi, no, no service. That I need. The mall, I don't give a fuck about. But yeah, I need Wi-Fi and service. If I had that, I'd be okay on the farm. But I'd still feel like really, like, um, what's the word? Like, I, like isolated just because, like, you're not really in the city. Like, there's no neighbors, like, right next door to you. Like, three three feet away, you know what I mean? You guys just can't abandon me here. Okay, look, Brooke, if you really want to follow in my footsteps, then you have to learn the value of hard work. And believe me, there is no better place for that than here. Mm. Think of it as a Like, I know, I know farms are a lot of work. You around all the animals, and you'll get to hang out with Jenna. Uh, no. Absolutely not. I'm not staying here. I refuse. This is not up for discussion. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Oh, shit. On Christmas. We should go if we're gonna avoid traffic. Thanks. You guys aren't funny. I'm not falling for it. <laughs> She's like, wait, what? Wait! You guys just can't live without me? You guys, stop! You're the worst parents in the world! Oh. I guess they broke the news. I'd rest up. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We'll start tomorrow. What are you talking about? I'm not doing any work. Sorry, broke parents' orders. They said they're not picking you up if you don't listen. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Like, I know it's really hard and, like, really exhausting. Yeah. God. Like, I, got, I, I know farms are a lot of work. Oh, here it is. 4.30 a.m.? Not even 4... Oh, my God. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Mm. Like, when did you go to bed? 7 p.m.? No can do. We're already behind schedule. Behind schedule? Come on. Get up, brush your teeth. Let's go. Oh. I feel bad for her, but like she's really spoiled, so okay, she kind of. Good morning. And look how she's dressed. Right. I swear to God, she hasn't changed her outfit once. Like look how she dresses compared to her. Like now that she dresses terrible, it's just like she she dressed on a farm. She just like she's on a farm, and she dressed like she's a model or something. I am going to feed and turn out the horses. If you turn out get the started horses. mucking out salt, what am I supposed to do with that? Clean up the soil cheating. You use the shovel pick up the poop and put it in the bucket. The what now? You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need some gloves for that. Are you sure you don't want to change? I have some overalls and extra work boots. Uh, uh, no, I walk around Rome on cobblestone roads in these heels all the time. Think I can handle this. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Suit yourself. Come on, baby. It's 
Well, I didn't do anything then. Oh my god. Every muscle in my body is aching right now. That just means you put in a good week's work. And to thank you for all your hard work, I made you breakfast. With the uh, <laughs> spice of lemon pepper? I'm sorry the eggs aren't sunny side up. I just kind of lost track of time. Oh. So, you ready for another day? Oh. I will do anything for this food, but please tell me there's no excrement of any kind. Well, um, no, not this time. <laughs> Jeez, talk about a fixer-upper, huh? Yeah. We used to have a lot more sheep in here, but we had to sell off most of the flock in order to stay afloat. And then this just kind of became a junkyard storage area. It's been a rough last couple of years. If you want to get started clearing the cobwebs, I am going to get working on the insulation. It's not that bad, to be honest. Well, she has a smile on her face. You know, if you guys fix this place up, it would actually be pretty nice. Maybe. But we don't really have the kind of money for that. Yeah, I don't really understand. I mean, you used to have an entire staff of people here helping you out. Oh, uh, my mom... It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. When my mom got sick, the insurance companies wouldn't pay for her treatments. So we ended up taking out a bunch of loans on the farm. And we do our best to pay them down, but every time we make a dent, it just seems like the interest rate gets higher and higher. To be honest, we might even have to sell this place before Christmas. And that kills me. To think what that would do to my dad. It was Grandpa's final wish to keep this farm in our family. I'm so sorry, Jenna. I honestly, I had no idea. I mean, she can literally pay for it easily. Sorry, I'm just gonna make sure. I'm pretty sure I pressed record. Okay. I got nervous that I didn't press record and I'm like, fuck. 
But if you guys need money, why doesn't your dad just talk to my parents? I know they'd help you out. He's too prideful. He would never ask for money. He'd be mad knowing I was even here telling you about this. I know that you don't love the animals. I don't like being outside or anything about the farm. Like being outside is nice, but... But to us, this place is home. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I can honestly say that in the beginning, I hated it here. But I do think that it has the potential to slowly grow on me. Well, I can see why my mom said a lot of people like to come out here. And why the motels are always booked out. I bet people would even want to stay here. Oh my god. That's it. Sorry? You guys have this amazing unused space right in front of you. I mean, you could refurbish this and rent it out on Airbnb. It's actually not a bad idea. But realistically, they don't have the money to fix it. Well, then just start with the bedrooms in the house. I mean, think about it. You have this great location. You're right near all the big vineyards and wineries. And you can offer a real farm experience by giving out, like, fresh milk and eggs. Oh, my God. You can literally market it as, like, a farm chic little country getaway. <laughs> I mean, everyone loves a good bed and breakfast. It would basically rent out itself. You think so? Well, at least she's using her, you know, I, brain I for good. I don't know how to start. I mean, I've never done anything like that before. I'll help you figure it out. I literally grew up in my dad's real estate office. I've seen him do it, like, a thousand times. <laughs> Jenna, come on. What do you have to lose? Are you going to give up on the farm, or are you going to fight for it? I'll connect the dialogue. <laughs> Yay! Damn, she's making her own food. Oh, she's making it for her. Well, what's she connected to? How does she have internet? for this incredible experience. We had a lot of fun. And the food was amazing, too. You're welcome. Come back anytime. I can't believe it. After a few more stays, we'll be caught up on our mortgage. Oh, thanks to Brooke. No, it was a team effort. I guess it's going to be a pretty good Christmas after all. Yeah. It won't be easy. It's gonna be the first one without Margaret. Gosh. I miss her so much. Is that her next guest? Check-in's not for another hour. No, I think that's my... Parents? Merry Christmas! Oh! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas. Hi, Dad! Merry Christmas! Hi, Christmas. Hi Mom! Hi. <laughs> Hey, I've never seen that outfit before. Is that Chanel? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I hope you learned a little something from Uncle John and Jenna. She wasn't too much trouble, was she? Not at all. In fact, we actually learned a lot from her. She had this amazing idea for us to rent out our extra rooms. Turned out to be a big hit. You did. Yeah. yeah. And we're completely booked out through the end of July. <laughs> She's even been helping out around the farm. My daughter? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Wait, I have Wi-Fi now? Oh, yeah. We brought the hotspot along. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I have been dying without my phone. That's our daughter, all right. 
Oh, before I forget, got a little surprise gift for you. Is that the point bag I've been wanting? <gasps> yep. God. And? I saved the ski chalet in Aspen so you and your friends can go for the New Year's. Really? Ah! No, she's not going to leave, is she? <laughs> You know what, Mom? I think that we should just return the bag and use the money for something else. Did you want a different bag? Oh, <laughs> no. I think we should use the money to help Uncle John and Jenna refurbish their barn so they can rent it out. Are you sure? Because I know how bad you wanted this. <laughs> yeah. I'm very sure. And Dad, rent this key chalet to someone else because I think it'd be better if we spent Christmas here all together. If it's okay with Uncle John and Jenna. Are you kidding me? That'd be the best news ever. <laughs> Certainly make things a lot less lonely. Well, it's settled then. It's gonna be an Adams Family Christmas. Oh, <laughs> I do have one request though. Can no one wake you at 4.30 a.m. because I'd like to sleep in for once. I would like to say yes, but Pedro, he makes no promises. There's Pedro again? Devil. <laughs> that was a really good art video. Honestly, like his videos are really good. Like his videos are getting like I'm not gonna say that they weren't good in the past, but, like, they've been, like, really good, like, recently, like, all these, like, long videos, like, the Christmas specials, these, the quality is good, like, this definitely seems like a TV show. It's really good, and I, and I do really like these videos. Um, I'm glad that she was able, like, e even halfway through the video, she was already kind of, like, starting to see that it wasn't so bad, and that, like, you know, it was a good video, like, honestly, it was actually pretty good. I, I like that a lot. Honestly, like, again, I would not be thrilled doing farm life either, getting up at 4.30 4, 4 every morning. I have no idea when they go to bed at, but they better go to bed at like 8.30 then. 8.30 to 4.30, about 8 hours sleep. But it's like they just work, 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 and it's just like, can, can you get a break? Like, it's like, damn, like, I, I definitely would not, I'm not going to cap. I would not like it at all. Like, I would literally not like it at all. I would definitely complain. I would not like it at all. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I would not like it at all. Just because I am used to, obviously, this lifestyle, like doing YouTube, going to work, coming home, on my phone all the time, you know what I mean? I'm like doing, again, YouTube videos, watching YouTube videos, going to the gym. Like, I guess that would be the gym for you, you know? But honestly, the farm is good, in, in, in a sense. Like, you, like you're literally outside, enjoying the weather, again, again, again the vitamin D. Um, again, you're enjoying the weather. You're outside, you're active, you're not just sitting on your ass doing nothing, right? So you're active, you're in a sense working out, it's like you're active, you enjoy the weather, like it's it's, it's kind of like a win-win-win. The only downside is like you're literally like, like I remember in Poland uh, when we went there a couple years ago, the one thing is kind of like a farm, like there's chickens there, there's, um, I don't know what other animals are, there's, there, was, there was a lot of cats I remember, which they're just like usual pets, right? Um, yeah, like there was a there was a few animals from I recall. It was kind of like a little farm county area where my grandma stays at. Again, no Wi-Fi, no no internet service, obviously, because it's a different country. It, all in the way in Europe, obviously, so it's very different. No we're connect, no we're connect, uh, connecting to here. Um, I think there's like plans where you can go to like Europe and have a connect somehow or connect to something. I don't know how it works, but we didn't have any of that because I was just because yeah, we just didn't have any of that. So we had to go to my friend's house or my, not not my friend's house, my cousin's house. And then they had Wi-Fi, so we were able to have a Wi-Fi from over there. Even my cousins, I feel bad for them just because, like, in a sense, like, it can be hard to get a job in Poland, and, like, they're, it's, it, it's different. Like, in my grandma's house, you literally have to, like, warm up hot water. I don't even know what it is. Like, you have to, like, have the fireplace on just to warm the hot. Like, there's no water heater. There, uh, There's no furnace. I don't know how they... I, I forgot how they, um... kept the house warm. But, um... Yeah, and honestly, farm life can be tough. And again, I'm, I'm I'm saying it right now. I definitely would not like it. I'm not gonna cap and say, yeah, I would love it. Like I'm not I'm not gonna cap you guys. Like I would not like it. I definitely would not probably last there. I definitely would not. I would I definitely be complaining. Like even at work, I complain. I'm like, oh my god, like I, I complain about doing my job. 
But like, who, come on, like, who doesn't com uh, complain about their job sometimes? Like, yeah, like, it's hard not to complain, like, like, you know what I mean, come on, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this video. Again, I'm really glad that she was able to, ch to turn herself around. I was actually able to benefit the farm and help them so it was, so they wouldn't lose it because obviously it was like really devastating to, to Jenna to lose it. So I'm really glad that I'm really glad that Brooke decided to help out and decided to kind of like give them that idea that building block to kind of like get to where they are. I don't know why she kept running away from that freaking rooster though, like acting like it's gonna like attack her. Honestly, I'm not gonna say shit because if I had a, had a rooster in, in this room or in front of me, I'd probably go ape, ape, ape shit too. So I guess so, uh, some things you can't judge unless you're little, uh, literally right in, in front of it. So, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like, comment, comment down below once again. And be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Peace.